The seal of the Romanian Orthodox Episcopate of America is a true visual representation of its beginning. The first tens of thousands of Romanian immigrants started coming to North America at the turn of the 20th century from the Romanian provinces of Transylvania, Banat, and Bukovina. Like most immigrants, their motivations for leaving home were many, between seeking social, economic, and political freedom to improving their financial situation. The first Romanian Orthodox Church in North America was St. Nicholas and Regina's Saskatchewan in 1902. St. Mary's of Cleveland, Ohio was founded in 1904 and is the oldest Romanian Orthodox parish in the United States. The initiative for establishing the early Romanian parishes came from the people themselves. They needed priests, so the faithful of Cleveland appealed to the Metropolitan Iwan Mitsianu of Transylvania, while those of Regina petitioned the Metropolitan Partenia of Moldova. Regina's request was heard in 1903 with the arrival of Archimandrite Evgene Ungurianu, and Cleveland's response came in 1905 with the arrival of Father Moise Balia. Father Moise traveled throughout the Great Lakes area and was instrumental in overseeing the formation of other parish groups who followed Cleveland's example. With more and more Romanians deciding to make North America their permanent home, by 1912 there were enough Romanian churches to form a deanery. Metropolitan Mitsianu sent more priests and also provided the many books and liturgical items which were needed for the churches to hold the divine services. The movement to officially forming an episcopate climaxed in Detroit between April 25th and 28th, 1929, during the first General Romanian Orthodox Church Congress. At this Congress, delegates from 22 parishes proclaimed their desire for an autonomous episcopate under the canonical jurisdiction of the Patriarchate of Romania. The Holy Synod of the Romanian Orthodox Church was not only asked to approve their diocese, but to also send a duly consecrated bishop to lead it. Six years later, Bishop Polycarp Morushka became the first bishop of the Romanian Episcopate. Religious life in America, among the Romanian Orthodox people, now began to assume a more regularized pattern. Bishop Polycarp arrived to the United States in 1939 and was enthroned at St. George's Cathedral in Detroit, Michigan. As a graduate of the prestigious Andrei Shaguna Orthodox Theological Institute in Sibiu and having served as administrative assistant to the Metropolitan of Transylvania, he was familiar with church administration and the communicative avenues of keeping in touch with the faithful. He began the weekly newspaper Solia, which first appeared in February of 1936, and which to this day has served as a vital organ of religious teaching and the official publication of the diocese. He was also instrumental in the purchasing of a 200-acre estate in Grass Lake, Michigan, which would later become not only the administrative headquarters of the Episcopate, but the home away from home for all Romanian Americans. This property was inaugurated at the 1938 Church Congress and was given the Romanian name of Vatra Romaniasca, the Romanian hearth in English. Bishop Polycarp's leadership and involvement instilled peace, order, and after four years of intense work and having established a diocese on a firm footing, he left for Romania in the summer of 1939 to attend a session of the Holy Synod. Regrettably, as World War II broke out, travel and other circumstances of the time prevented his return. Bishop Polycarp fell asleep in the Lord in Romania on October 26, 1958. From 1939 to 1952, the diocese was governed by the Episcopate Council, headed by the Archpriest John Truza of St. Mary's in Cleveland, and despite the unfortunate circumstances, it still managed to move forward. It was during these years that the relationship with the Mother Church in Romania deteriorated. 
conflicting factors of that time and especially the people's collective desire to elect their own hierarch led to a church congress convened in Chicago in 1951 to reaffirm its complete administrative independence as a diocese. If Bishop Polycarp could not return, the only answer was to choose another to rule in his stead. The Congress proceeded to elect the young theologian Viorel di Trifa, who had arrived from Italy in Cleveland a year before as auxiliary bishop. Beginning the next year, 1952, the Romanian Episcopate of America began a momentous period of reorganization under its new leader. Taking the name of Valerian, the newly elected bishop's skillful leadership and extensive theological education was a long-awaited gift for the diocese. It is during his pastorate that the Romanian Orthodox Episcopate of America would officially become the first and largest ethnic diocese to join the Russian Metropolia in 1960 and the Orthodox Church in America in 1970. He was later elevated to the rank of Archbishop. One of Archbishop Valerian's most significant challenges was transforming the Romanian Vatra into a true headquarters of the diocese. Through his personal involvement and the financial support of the faithful, as well as that of the two auxiliary organizations, Arfora and Eroi, the Vatra was slowly transformed into a spiritual retreat of the Episcopate. He especially dedicated much of his time working on the religious education of the youth by instituting the summer educational camps at the Vatra beginning in 1955. For over 60 years, these camps have given children from across North America an opportunity to learn and live their faith while spending recreational time with other young Orthodox Christians. The Vatra camps today include junior camp for ages 11 to 13 and senior camp for ages 14 to 17. Due to the large distance and geographic scattering of the parishes, there are also two other summer camps held in Canada, one in Toronto, St. Anthony's Summer Camp, and one in Montreal, St. Mary's Summer Camp. Archbishop Valerian also intensified the Episcopate's publications program by printing a number of catechetical manuals, bilingual liturgy books, and choir music to serve the needs of both the Romanian and English-speaking faithful. He served the Romanian Episcopate for 33 years. Like his predecessor, however, there came a point when he too was separated from his beloved flock. His retirement came in 1984 due to failing health, but especially in an effort to spare his diocese the persistent libelous persecution. From the time he was elected until his return to eternal rest at the Vatra in 1987, Archbishop Valerian was under tremendous pressure from the communist government of Romania as well as from local political aggressors. Upon his retirement, he entrusted his flock to the care of his young vicar bishop, Nathaniel Pope. Bishop Nathaniel was consecrated into the episcopacy at St. George Cathedral in Southfield, Michigan on November 15, 1980. He served as Auxiliary Bishop until 1984 and has been serving as titular hierarch of the diocese ever since. As an editor of the Solia newsletter, a contributor of numerous publications, and a four-year assistant to Archbishop Valerian, he was very much already an integral part of the diocese and understood what was needed to sustain and continue the work of the Church. Archbishop Nathaniel was an active member of the Holy Synod of Bishops of the Orthodox Church in America and has represented the OCA at numerous events in North America, Europe, and Africa. He was elevated to the dignity of Archbishop by the Holy Synod on October 20, 1999. The most significant aspect which has defined his pastorate as hierarch is the tremendous growth and expansion of the diocese through the establishment of dozens of new missions and parishes and three monastic communities. The fall of communism in 1989 brought a tremendous influx of Romanian immigrants into North America 
and the number of missions and parishes in the U.S. and Canada, by the grace of God, virtually doubled, doubled in size. Today the Episcopate spreads across two nations, the United States and Canada, and is comprised of a total of 102 parishes and missions, 66 parishes and three missions in the U.S., and 30 parishes and three missions in Canada. There are also four monasteries, two women and two men monastic communities. The entire diocese is divided into nine deaneries, six in the U.S. and three in Canada. Administratively, the Romanian Episcopate of America is governed by the Church Congress and the Episcopate Council, both presided by the Hierarch and constituted from representatives of the parishes and auxiliary organizations. A noteworthy fact about the Romanian Episcopate is that it is one of the first Orthodox dioceses in North America to adopt its own bylaws and statues in 1932. These statues constitute the organizational and administrative authority of the Episcopate, its parishes, missions, religious institutions, and its auxiliary organizations. All of the parishes in the Episcopate follow these bylaws. This year, 2018, marks 80 years since the acquisition of the Vatra. As mentioned, this center also serves as a place of gathering for the annual Church Congress. Clergy and faithful from across the United States and Canada gather here as one body of Christ. And this year, between September 6th and 8th, we will have a special opportunity to venerate Hawaii's myrrh-streaming Iveron icon of the Theotokos. If you've never visited our Vatra, this would be a wonderful opportunity for you to do so, and we invite you to join us. We give glory to God for all our clergy and faithful, and we pray for the eternal rest of all the many generations who have labored and made sacrifices and contributed to expanding the mission of the Church. The Romanian Episcopate is an ethnic diocese, both by its tradition and current demographic makeup. This, however, is not to say that the mission is limited to only serving those with a Romanian heritage. The Church is a mother, and she has to take care of all of her children. The testimonial history of the Romanian Episcopate and its tremendous growth and expansion throughout the years are firm examples of balancing and adapting to the realities of orthodoxy in America. We are working to expand this mission. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory forever. Christos este mijlocul nostru. Este și va fi.